All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Now, we all know that the, um, the Greeks saying no to our stewarding measures and saying no to um, Europe uh, and the euro in itself, um, it, while, while they all are having a song and a dance, and they're singing and they're dancing right now, um, I think I need to go ahead and speak to the other side that, that people are not speaking to, and that is this. Most of the people in the world do not comprehend the type of beast system that we're up against. If you don't play ball and play the games the way that they see it in their world, because you have to understand, this is how they process thought. You may be all out on the streets rejoicing because your children's children is not going to be saddled with any more debt. Um, from the so-called selected officials. I should have said elected, but they are so-called elected, but they're selected. You get ready to see the resolve of the bankers because they control the trucking industry. They control the food. And the one thing that I'm sure that these Greeks are not ready for, just like most Americans, is they simply... Not they are not ready. They are simply are not ready for bare supermarket shelves. You see, instead of doing things the old-fashioned way, which you're going to be forced to do, instead of doing things the old-fashioned way about you growing your own food and getting canning food and then storing up food for a rainy day, people have become dependent upon a system. You have to understand this system that we all function in has been given to us. The whole entire world, especially in America, is in slavery. Let me try to paint you this picture for a second, okay? Listen to me very closely. Let's say you have slave master, Mr. Jones. All right? And he has all these slaves on this plantation. Now, when you hear me talk about this, you think about Washington and all the elected officials up there and then you think about the plantation as the United States of America and all the people in it. Listen to me very close. When you have Mr. Jones who is the owner of the plantation and he's having trouble with the slaves revolting, the slaves rebelling, uh, every once in a while you have to turn around and lynch one of them and kill them. Uh, do whatever you can in order to try to bring some type of peace and serenity to the plantation. There comes the collaborator into the picture. And the collaborator comes into the picture named Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith tells Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, I want you, I'm going to help you with your slave problem. All right. I want you to listen real close. All right. And don't you agree with anything that I say? I mean, excuse me, don't you disagree with anything that I say and we'll have this slave problem, you would have this slave problem solved. Do you understand, Mr. Jones? Yeah. Mr. Smith comes out and says, you know what? All you slaves are free. Every single one of you. Every single one of you are free. And you are free to come. You're free to go as you want. All right? But I want you to know that as soon as you get outside the gates of this plantation, there are other people who do not respect. There are other people who will not understand you communicating to them your freedom from Mr. Jones. They think it's in their right and in their mind to enslave you. And that's what they will do because as soon as you go out here, they look at you as a commodity. They're going to put you in slavery. Now, if you stay here on Mr. Jones' plantation, United States of America, you're free. And the labor and the work that you do, it can benefit us all. I mean, after all, which one of you knows how to actually run the plantation? None of the slaves speak up because they don't know how to run the plantations because only Mr. Jones has the experience of running the plantation. So, you continue to go out there and work. You continue to have housing. 
uh, shelter, food, everything provided for you because we're all equal. And Mr. Jones will continue to keep running the plantation. All right. A little while goes, the slaves are happy. Hey, we're free because they tell us we are free. We're free. They tell us we're free, and we've accepted it. Hook, line, and sinker. So then what happens? Well, I'll tell you exactly what happens. What happens from that point is, is that one of the slaves starts to use self autonomy and start thinking, you know what? I hear what they are saying. Pastor Dow. But we're still in the same condition. Our condition has not improved one bit. They telling us that we free, but we ain't free. And everybody on the plantation is still a slave. So, Mr. Smith says, you know, I we're going to get everybody together and I'm going to hear your complaint. And they communicate, you know, Pastor Dow. He communicates the complaint to Mr. Smith. And Mr. Jones is hearing this. Mr. Jones getting upset because he said, I thought we had this thing solved. Mr. Smith says, you know what? I am going to bring in, um, uh, what, what's a good name? Uh, or I guess I'm going to bring in Mr. Johnson. That's a common name. And Mr. Smith tells the people on the plantation Every so often, within six months or a year, we're going to have a vote. Because if you don't like the way Mr. Jones is running this plantation right here, your next option is Mr. Smith. I mean, excuse me, it's Mr. Johnson. I'm getting this messed up, all right? Mixed up a little bit. But follow me for a second. So if you don't like the way this plantation is being run, slaves, or, or free man on the land, free man on the plantation. You don't like the way Mr. Jones is running this? You can put Mr. Johnson in charge. And the slave says, man, that's fair. Boy, I tell you, hey, that is all right. That is all right. That is all right. That is all right. All right. So a little time goes by. Pastor Dow wants to have another meeting and talk with the people since we're all equal. Since they say we're all equal. Hmm. I say to Mr. Smith, there ain't no difference between Mr. Jones and Mr. Johnson. They both the same no matter who we put in place. And we're still in the same condition. And our conditions have not improved at all. We receive bare minimum wages while we continue to keep making the plantation rich. And we're tax half the devil. Mr. Smith says, Huh, you know what, Pastor Dow? You are an agitator. You are a person that loves to cause mutiny and insurrection amongst the people, and we're tired of it. The only way that we're going to keep these people happy and mind you, the people on the plantation is listening to Mr. Smith because Mr. Smith is a fork term snake. He know how to use words against these illiterate people who can't read or write, much less comprehend. And you know what happens then from there? They take me uh, out and they tie me to the post and every all the people on the plantation are clapping their hands because, see, they get sick and tired of me running around in between all this time telling them, our condition ain't no better. We still out here busting our tail. We still getting minimum wage. On. They don't want to hear that because they are comfortable on the plantation. So, Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones, and Mr. Johnson, they get somebody on the plantation while I'm tied to the post to beat me and whip me. And while Mr. Smith is sitting up there telling everybody how much an agitator and how much sedition that I have caused in here, and how I have literally ruined it for y'all people, and I'm trying to literally ruin it, they beat me to the point that I'm died. I'm dead. And you know what? All the people on the plantation, nobody mourns. You know why? 
because these people who know how to use words and know how to lie, you know, give you fairy tales and you believe them uh, and, and, and make you feel like you're free. Make you feel like you belong. You've already sided with these people because your eyes are wide shut. That is the truth. And that is the true straight way. They have given us this system in this world. Now, all you Greeks, I hope that you have stored up for a rainy day, especially since you can only withdraw. Don't care if you're a billionaire or you only have 100 euros in the bank. You can only withdraw 21 euros a day. Why? Because the bankers have confiscated you didn't read that in the fine print because those terms and those conditions of that agreement, whenever you open up an account, wasn't disclosed to you. When you put that money into their bank, it wasn't no longer your money. It's their money. And if they choose to give it to you, it's their choice. And that's like you people who are deceived by safety deposit boxes. As long as this system is floating the way that they want to, it's safe in their deposit box. But as soon as this system collapse, the doors of the bank is shut, it's closed. You go bang on and try to get in there, the cops gonna come and arrest you for destroying bankers' public property. It's really a private institution, but they're gonna get you for vandalism. You see, you people are amazing. You literally are. And you can't hear a voice of reason. No, 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 because you have been conditioned like nobody has in the history of mankind. You see, my people in this country were forbidden to read and write. My people were. And I can understand my people in this country not knowing how this system run because they don't care. They really don't care. But you conservatives and you so-called liberals, you left and right wingers and all that stuff, yeah, you, I, I keep telling y'all, y'all now are in the same boat as we are, Greek. Uh, hey, rejoice. Have fun. I hope you have stored up a year's supply of food. I hope that you have developed a good rapport and friendship with some people who you can trust that you can be mutually assistant with. I hope so. I'm telling you, I hope so. Because, hey, I want you to look at this picture. And what I'm looking at here online right now, look at this picture right here. Look at that. Urgent report. Bear supermarket shelves in Greece should be a huge wake-up call to millions of clueless Americans. Reported by um, Red Flag News. Now, huh? reported by Red Flag News. You, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm saying? You people are in some very serious trouble. You, you're going to find out how wise Pastor Dow has been once the heat is on your back and heat on your ass. You're going to see it. You people who love mocking Jeremy, deriding me, chiding me, putting forth the fingers, slandering me, and everything else. I am going to have the last laugh. You people have been a bunch of damn fools stuck up in them cities. The trucks the bankers control, all of it, the all commerce. They ain't delivering no more goods and services to those supermarkets. Now, you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? We're going to find out what kind of stomach the Greeks got, especially when they're starving. Because the next move for the bankers is, is they're going to be clamoring. The people are going to be clamoring and begging for the bankers to give them our stewardy measures. America, you had better wake the hell up. That's what you better do. Because you ain't got too many people out here that can read between the lines that's going to tell you what I'm telling you. And America, you better get it. You better get it. Mm. Anyway, I think you get the picture. I done said enough. I think you get the picture. You better get some money. Tangible assets, silver, i.e. gold. You better start storing food. You better get some secure shelter. That's what you better do. Whew. He that have ears, 
Let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church.